Okay. How is it here? No. The metal. Remember I gave you a good card? Where is that little metal? You got it. Yeah, the little metal. It was over there by the, by the basket. In the toolbox. No, you give to Charlie. No, it's right there. Yeah. Okay. And this is just standardized. You, I make these, and if you look at, if you, if, if feel free to dig through anything I've got here. I've got all different sized column molds. This is just one that I kind of standardized that I use a lot. And this is based on a piece of PVC pipe. So what you want to do, is figure out the size column you want. You see I've got all different sizes of PVC up here, right? You, this is even lighter than PVC. But you take your, your, your tube that you want, and then you add on the thickness of your clay, whatever thickness that is, and in this case it's three quarters of an inch, and then you determine the size of this. And what I do when I cut these, I make them a little bit less, this is a three quarter inch slab, I make them a little bit less so I can compress it. Now, three quarter inches is arbitrary. It could be an inch slab. Um, for greenware glazing, I, when I first started making these, I went to a half an inch, and I said, well, there's no reason for them to be that thick. I went to a half an inch, but I was greenware glazing because I'm bending this slab over the form. When I glazed the first fireplace I did using that, laying on my glaze, I split the column all the way down because of yeah. plastic memory. So I went to three quarters, and when I went to three quarters, I didn't have that problem. It eliminated the problem. But I made them, you know, well, you'll see all sizes. Wait, 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 I got it. Tengo que reportar Yeah, Ya lo reportamos. Los dos? Sí. sí. Oh, okay. Sí. <laughs> sí. And I used, to, I used to let these stiffen up. And, and then move them off of the forms. And we were making a bunch of them one day, and my brother John actually came up with this. He said, there's got to be a faster way. So he just, instead of waiting for the clay to stiffen up, he just went to a smaller diameter piece of pipe, put, it up, put the piece up on skids, took the pipe out, now, when we were doing this, John and I were doing this one time during a workshop, and these two ladies were talking, and we had the pipe, the pipe was actually a little bit shorter, so our, we were, the piece was a little bit longer, so our fingers, and she had turned around, and she didn't see me pull the pipe out and put the other pipe in, and all of a sudden, John and I were carrying this wet piece of clay four feet <laughs> long across, across the studio, and she went, wait Why a second. That? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 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 really strong. So and so and so and so and so. Wait, is yeah, the one. Mm -hmm. Sewing. So this is the one. sewing technique. You have been many times. If you go through there, all the way to the table, and to the clay. Are you going down to the bottom of the clay? It blends the table. it. Just and the other side too? Yeah. I want to try. Can I do You can do it. You know, you're getting pretty down. deep. Is it, because are you going to the table with this? Almost. Almost, yeah, right? Yeah. Sewing is the most amazing thing. Yeah. Lena, you're doing a great job. You are a good sewer. <laughs> Seamstress. Uh, you listen her talking Portuguese. The most romantic ever. 